Plane parallel optics are transparent components or systems with two or more parallel surfaces. The challenge with using interferometry to measure these optics is that reflections from all the parallel surfaces can generate interference fringes, making measurement extremely difficult or impossible. 4D Technology's new surface isolation source lets you exclude all but the surface of interest. With the source, it is possible to measure the front and back surfaces of an optic and calculate transmitted wavefront error, optical thickness, and homogeneity. In a Fizeau interferometer, the reference surface doubles as a beam splitter, with one beam directed to the test surface and another to the high-quality reference. When the beams are recombined, they interfere. Any path difference alters the shape of the fringes. In this case, the slight tilt of the test optic results in straight fringes. The test or reference surface is then shifted by precise increments, and several more frames of data are collected. From this data, the height at every pixel can be calculated with sub-nanometer resolution. When measuring plane parallel optics, all surfaces in the beam path can interfere, resulting in complex fringe patterns that are difficult to measure. Coating the back surface of an optic will eliminate the extra fringes, but this method is messy and can lead to damage, especially with larger optics. Surface isolation is an alternative method in which a short coherence laser source is used to create a narrow measurement zone in front of the interferometer. A test surface within this zone will generate interference, while reflections from surfaces outside the zone will not interfere with the reference. The result is a single set of fringes which can easily be measured. 4D Technologies Accufiz interferometer can accomplish this technique using a second, fiber-coupled surface isolation source. The source creates a 100 micron wide measurement zone approximately 100 millimeters in front of the aperture. The measurement procedure with the surface isolation source is essentially the same as for a standard interferometer. First, close the beam block for the internal source, then open the beam block for the surface isolation source. Position the optic so that the test surface is the correct distance from the interferometer. Use the alignment window in Foresight Analysis software to roughly align the test optic. Adjust the tip and tilt to minimize the number of fringes. Then adjust the camera settings to optimize the light level without saturating the camera. Use the handheld controller to adjust the focus. You can also adjust the source size to minimize the effects of coherent artifacts. Then take a measurement. Here, an average of four measurements is being made. The measurement results are immediately available for inspection and analysis in Foresight software. The position of the optic determines which surface will be measured. In this example, the front and then the back surface are both measured using the same setup. With both surfaces measured, optical thickness can also be determined. The addition of the surface isolation source provides added flexibility for shop-wide measurement. Use the standard Accufiz source to measure flats, spheres, lenses, prisms, etc. Then switch to the surface isolation source to measure plane parallel optics. It gives you the functionality of two types of interferometers in a single system.